What's going on everybody? Hopped in here to give y'all this quick trade breakdown on GJ, how I managed to get 800 pips, and I'm gonna explain it. I'm on a one hour, so let's get straight into it. So as you can see, we're on a simple chart and we have the high and low of the day with a uh, support and resistance supply and demand zones, okay? Um, I know some people are like, what are those lines? That's what they are. So every green line you see, that's gonna be the high of the day. And every red line you see is gonna be a low of the day. Now, as you can see, this green and red have connected down at the bottom. That means that the low of the day is also a demand zone. So what does that mean? That means that whenever price hit the zone, as you can see at the beginning right here, whenever price hit the zone, price is gonna buy off that zone. That's what a demand zone is, okay? So let's break down the trade and how it happened and where you should have entered if you didn't enter where I did and how to identify this entry, okay? So here we go, let's break it down. Let me mute the uh, the, the robots so they don't talk to y'all while we're trading. Okay, so boom. Um, what, what you would be looking for in this situation right here, which is what I did say in the Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, you should join. The Discord will not be free uh going forward very soon so if you're not in the discord you should get in it now i will be locking it so that people don't come in and just loiter around like they've been doing no offense to the people in there but if you're not participating talking or talk, even posting trades i don't get the lurking but anyway i digress um so pretty much what you're looking at right now and i'll mark it up for you is a consolidation pattern which is what the market usually does it's, it hasn't done this for a while Due to all the toxic stuff that's been going on in the world, all the wars and things like that. Okay, so I'm not a news channel, so I won't get into it. Okay, that completely messed me up. I think my mouse is dying. So, uh, I'm probably going to change the battery. It's clicking on the wrong stuff. Yeah, it's doing bad. I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to thug it out and get through it. Because the MT4 is lagging as well. Okay, so as you can see, this was our consolidation pattern. What you are typically going to look for in a situation where price is doing this is a breakout. Why would you want to break out? You will want to break out because the breakout is going to determine when price is ready to leave that area. So when you see this happening, you want to look at the price right now and you don't want to do anything as far as on the one hour. If you decide you see this consolidation pattern and you want to trade it, what you would normally do is go down to the lower time frame. OK, because as you can see, this consolidation pattern is easier to trade on a lower time frame. OK, now, as you can see, we entered down here. As you can see, we ended here on the formation, and you can see it on a lower time frame. The price broke out from this low. It created a consolidation, and then it went to a higher high, which it broke this higher high right here. All right, I'm going to show you where it broke. This would be the safest entry to take for a new or beginning trader or somebody that's learning how to uh, trade consolidation, because consolidation is going to be the hardest thing you ever trade. So I'm just going to show you and see how it's making that same zone right here. Once price broke above here, this was your confirmation to take the buy. You don't need an indicator. You don't need anything to understand this. You just need to understand price action. So this is what we're explaining right now. So once price broke above this high of the day for the previous day, it was go time for your buy right there. It broke above it. Okay. And then it did a fake supply area which is what this is right here i'll show you it was fake though it was fake it was definitely fake it's right here you see this little zone it created it made it look like it was a uh, supply area but what gave it away what gave this away that this was fake it was a liquidity grab what gave that away was the fact that it broke above this okay the fact that it broke above this and then it bounced off like it wanted to go back down was a fake out. This is where people who are uh, buying, who have a stop loss, would get hit. Because if you pay attention, on a lower time frame, you're probably going to have on a five minute chart, maybe like five to ten pips stop loss. I'm guaranteeing this is going to be at least five pips away from the uh, 
the entry. So let's say you you should have brought right here. This would have been the spot that you bought, right? But let's just say uh, you you did buy here. Let's just say you would end this by once it broke. This this is the candle that closed. This was the buy right here. Just to show you this this little red doji looking candle. This was your buy candle. Let's just say you put your stop loss at the low of the day right here. This is the proper way to trade it. Let's just say you put your stop loss right here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is the proper way to place your stop loss. Always put your stop loss below the low of the day if you want to trade price action. Okay, this is the way to do it. This is where your stop loss should be at. And if you pay attention very much, if you pay very close attention, it did tap it. And this is why this is a liquidity grab. You see it did tap into that a little bit. Anyway, let me zoom back out so you can see it because it's getting noisy. So if, if you entered your buy here, you would have been here. Your stop loss would have been, uh, I don't know where you would have put your stop loss because honestly, your stop loss if you enter here should be below here. It should be below this area where my entry is. That should be a stop loss. The proper stop loss, if you're gonna trade price action, I'm gonna show you what the proper stop loss would be, but a lot of y'all ain't gonna wanna do this. I'm gonna show you the actual proper stop loss. The, the proper stop loss would always be under the low of the day. So, if you ended here, your stop loss would have been way down here. And for the lower time frame, that is a little dicey, but let's just say your stop loss would have been Okay, so it would have been 30 pips, which definitely most people ain't going to do a 30 pip stop loss on a 5 minute chart. But that would have been a safe spot. And then you would have been risking that, let's just say a 1 to 1. Let's just say you did do that. Right? Let's just say you did do that. And you ended a buy. You would have, 30 pips would have been right there. Right there would have been your 30 pips. So you would have did a 1 to 1 okay and you would have won you would have definitely won and that would have been a clean fair trade so we entered here because we are using a different strategy I, I won't get into it now but for the sake of the proper entry you would have entered here which was only a couple pips away from my entry and you would have took the buy and you would have stayed in it as long as you needed to and that would have been your entry now why would it have been your entry the simple price action method would have been because it, it broke above this price right here and it broke the consolidation pattern. So you got two confirmations that it was ready to go. Also your third confirmation, if you're gonna follow what I'm doing, is you would have looked at the pip count for the day, which is in this corner right here in the left-hand corner, and you would have saw what the ADR was telling you. And if the ADR was low on pips for that moment, which it probably was, you would have known how many pips to expect this move to make. So we know today's pip count is 96, right? From this ADR, but it's expecting to do 181. So let's go back to the one hour so we can make it a clearer picture and let's see how many pips we actually got okay because we ended this trade two days ago because this is a swing trade so we should have been expecting about 300 to 400 pips so let's see what we got because i got more than one entry here at the highest point 254 pips so that adds up about right and why am I still staying in the trade, you might say, because we're at this high point on GJ. Well, I'm staying in the trade because this low of the day, which is what you should do in, your, in my situation, start moving your positions, right? Start moving some of them to under the low of the day, because this is how you would trade price action on a, a clean trade, right? So this is what we're doing. So as you can see, I got a couple positions there, okay? And in order to catch this nicely, you go to lower time frame and you can see it a little better. But all of our trades pretty much are, are secured. And I will tell you now, for those who are not in the position, who not are not in this trade, what you would be looking for do to do to enter this trade is you would be looking at where my lower the day is, right? Let's insert uh, a shape here and show you. You would be looking for where my lower the day is. And you will look to see if price is gonna break this right here. If price breaks this low of the day, I'm gonna show you right now. Sorry, it's, it's my, my mouse is uh the battery is dying, so I definitely need to change it. I'm gonna show you right now.
Let's make it green so y'all understand it. Let's make it my favorite uh, fonts. Where's my favorite font? There we go, boom. Let's make it a little bigger so people can see it, and boom. This is where you would enter yourself, okay? Now, this is gonna be looking like a supply zone to me. So if price, as you see, it came down and it rejected at the same area that I'm walked, right? That's why I said it's, it's rejecting around the low of the day. It created the low and now it's rejecting, it's respecting it. What you wanna see if it's gonna disrespect it and create a, a, a cell, which would make this now into a um, supply area. So if it breaks below this, you would enter your cell. If it was to bounce off of it, you would enter your buy, okay? So it's that really simple. I know I made it sound simple, but it's just really about waiting. So in most cases, if you don't have a robot in a situation like this, what you would normally do is you would take the, uh, the price you see, Let's just put a um, let's just put a line on it so we can see this pricing lock it in. Uh, where my stop loss is at. Boom. So we would take a sell limit of 185.229, and that would be where we will put our sell limit. And for your stop loss, you would probably want to put your stop loss below behind the high of the day, and your take profit should probably be the next zone. If it's going to go down, it's probably going to go back down to this area right here, which I could kind of see it clearly where it's going to go. It's going to want to go down to here, just to be clear. But let's just for the sake of the video act like we don't know that. And um, put the next level that we're looking at. Okay. It will want to go back into this area where it kept tapping. It kept rejecting, okay? So price is going to want to go back to this area right here, okay? So if it broke here, I will put my TP here, and I will put my stop loss there, which would make this about a 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. It's a little bit over a 1 to 1. It's like 1 to 1 and a half on your trade, okay? So hopefully y'all understood, and as we've been talking, you can clearly see prices taken away from this area, which is what we expect because it's uptrending and it's breaking out, and it's a strong uptrending breakout. So more than likely, we're going to hit this ADR. Like I said, we're expecting another 100 pips from the average daily range. And since I know that, I'm going to stay in this trade and I'm going to wait and see how long it's going to take the break. But um, because it's so many pips away from its daily range, you have to watch out because that could also be 100 pips into a reversal. So that's why you want to take your stop losses and you want to trail your trades or take partials on your um, position. OK, so hopefully this video was helpful to y'all. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm going to post this on YouTube for everybody. And I'm going to start doing some trade analysis for the people who are in the private groups, okay? Um, it's your boy Jimmy. I'm out of here, man. And like I said, if you want to catch 1-800-PIPS on GJ, I'm the guy you want to talk to, okay? If you're having trouble. If you're not, post your trades in the Discord. Let me see what you did for the day. And um, like I said, we're going to start having those sessions again where I go live privately with y'all in the Discord. So get the Zoom link in the Discord and join the group while you can because the Discord is going to be private. And for those of you who are worried about MetaTrader and prop firms and brokers, in the meantime, I would suggest you just continue to trade and continue to push until you can't push no further and stop being distracted by that. And um, just continue on man, because, you know, eventually all good things come to an end. So whatever you're going to be doing, is going to get disrupted. It happens with your job. It happens with your marriage. It happens with your a way of making money even if you work a job till you retire it's probably not gonna be the only job you ever worked in your life you probably worked a couple jobs before that so for those of y'all that's being negative and doom and gloom and acting crazy calm down you know it's a part of uh being independent it's a part of not working for somebody it's a part of making side money it's a part of whatever it is that you do when you trade okay so i'm out of here y'all be good peace